Hello, lovely people. This is part three of my Squirrel Amigurumi tutorial in which we will crochet the tail. So if you haven't watched part one and two yet, I'll link to part one up here in the video and you can also find the link to um, both part one and two in the description box down below. So for the tail, we'll only need the gray yarn or red if you're making a red squirrel. And we start with a magic ring. So just use your preferred magic ring method. And then we single crochet six in the magic ring in round one. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Then we close the magic ring. I don't close it fully just yet. I'll do that after completing round two. And then round two, we increase one in each stitch. So two single crochet in each. Bear with me while I try to get through the first stitch. So two single crochet in here. Then two in the next, oops. That's three and four, five and six, seven and eight, nine and ten and 11 and 12. So this is round two done. So I place my stitch marker in the last stitch now and I fully close the magic ring. Now in round three, we increase a little more. So we single crochet in the next three stitches, one single crochet in each, one, two, three, and then we increase in the fourth stitch here. So two single crochet in there. And now we repeat this two more times. Three single crochet, one, two, three and one increase one and two and once more three single crochet one two three and an increase in the last stitch I don't know why this time my yarn seems to be really squeaky. Um, I know some people say they don't like to work with cotton yarn because of that sound. I hope you don't mind. <laughs> I don't know, everyone's different and some ears are more sensitive to these kind of sounds, I know. Um, so now we have three rounds in which we will double crochet in the first six stitches. So without making any chain or anything, we just double crochet in the next stitch. So we do our yarn over and double crochet. That's one, two, 
and I try to make them quite I crochet them quite tightly so that not too much of the fiber fill will show through. That's three, four, five, six, and now we single crochet in the remaining nine stitches without making any chain. Just go straight in the next stitch and single crochet. And that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, So now we repeat this for round five. Again, six double crochet without any chains in between the single and double crochet. One, two, three, Four, five, and six, and then we single crochet in the remaining nine stitches. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Now we repeat this same round once more. So six double crochet. One, two, three, four, Six and nine single crochet. So this is two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. So that's round six done and in round seven we simply single crochet in all 15 stitches that we now have. Just one single crochet in each.
I'm not sure if you can hear all this background noise. I hope I can edit most of it out. It's because I moved next to a school. <laughs> but it's not always like this. Most of the time it's nice and quiet here. So... Three more. And that's round seven done. So now in round eight, we decrease a little. And so we start with three single crochet. One, two, three, and then we decrease, so we go through the front loop of the next stitch and the front loop of the next and crochet them together. And now we repeat this two more times. So three single crochet, one, two, three, And once more, one, two, three, and decrease. In the last two stitches. So that's round eight done. And now we have a round of 12 stitches. Now in round nine to 12, in the next four rounds, all we do is single crochet one in each of these 12 stitches. So you can pause the video here and hit play once you completed the next four rounds of 12 single crochet, round nine to 12. My four rounds of 12 single crochet are complete now. And in round 13, we single crochet in the first six stitches. One, two, three, four, five, and six. And then we double crochet in the remaining six stitches. So again, without making a chain, we go straight into the next stitch with a yarn over, two double crochet, That's two, three, four, five, and So that's round 13 done and in the next round we decrease more but before we do that we fill the tail with some fiber fill. 
So first, I'm hiding this magic ring yarn end in there. And then I just push some fiber fill in with the back of my hook. Oops, I need to squish it a bit first. And I think it doesn't have to be filled very firmly, especially the lower part. Um, I will only fill lightly. Maybe a little bit more. And then we can continue with the next round. So in round 14, we single crochet one. and then we decrease. And we repeat this three more times. So one single crochet and one decrease. one single crochet and one decrease and once more one single crochet and one decrease So that's round 14 done and now, well I guess I don't need the stitch marker anymore because we only have one round to go, round 15, in which we will crochet in all 8 stitches that we now have. So just 8 single crochet, 1, 2, 3, Four, five, six, seven, and eight. And now we can fasten off, leaving a long enough tail to sew the, on the tail. So now, first, we can squish it a little bit to evenly distribute the fiber fill and kind of shape it into the like a kind of like an S shape a little bit and then we can go ahead and attach it so I sew it on the lower two rounds here on the back, centered, so I'll align it with the back of the head. So now I need my pins. So you can pin it in place first, just to make sure that you're happy with the placement before you start sewing. 
Let me pin those here. And then you can just look at it from all angles to see if that's the right case. I think that's looking good. So now we can thread the yarn and on our yarn needle. And as we did with the head, I just try to find a little stitch close to the tail to stitch through. And I stitch in the direction that I crocheted it. So this was the last stitch. And I would crochet in this one next if I were to continue the tail. So this is the direction in which I sew the tail on now. I'm thinking maybe I go down a little bit. So I start here on the lowest round. So this is round four in which we crochet in the back loops only. And this one I will remove so that sewing on the tail will be easier. And I just go through each stitch of the tail. So this is just the next stitch of the tail here. And then through the next stitch on the body, pull it tight, and then through the next stitch of the tail here. And through the body, now I'm working my way horizontally to the other side, so I'll stitch through here. And next stitch of the tail. I'll go through the same spot of the body. Sometimes you can pause just to double check that it's all in position. Just making sure that you don't have to undo any of the stitches. The next stitch of the tail here and now I'm moving my way downward back to where we started slowly slowly We don't need the pin anymore. And two more stitches I have here. Two more stitches of the tail. And this is the last one. So 
So now I'm thinking about if I leave it this way. Or if I attach the tail to the back. I wish this was live and I could ask for your opinion. <laughs> Sometimes I don't know. Yeah, I think it will be easier to balance it. If the tail is attached. So now I stitch through. The tail somewhere here like one two three four five rounds up on this side that's gonna be attached to the back And now I just see where it touches the back, somewhere here, and that's where I'll make a little stitch. To attach it to the back, and then I just go through the tail again like so. And through the back again. And then I go ahead and weave in the yarn and so. I'll do that here on the bottom side again. And then once it's woven in, we can cut it short. It's the tail attached and so our little squirrel is complete now so you have to make sure that the bottom side is nice and flat or even pushed a little inward so that it can actually sit mine is still falling over <laughs> Let's see. There we go. So if it's falling over because the tail is too heavy, you can bend the head a little forward and that did the trick for me. So I hope you enjoyed this little tutorial. If you did, please give this video a big thumbs up for me. That would be so sweet of you. And make sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, so you get notified of my future Amigurumi tutorials that I publish currently every week.
Thank you so much for watching and for crocheting along with me. It's been so much fun making this with you. Thank you for being here. Also, I always forget to mention this, but you can share your creations that you make using my patterns on Facebook and Instagram. And please make sure to tag me, not just in the description, but also in the photo. And this way I'll be able to find your photo, even if I sometimes I don't log on to Instagram in a while when I get really busy and I just don't want to miss your post. So if you tag me in the photo, then I'll always be able to see it if I go through um, my tagged pictures. And this way you will get an entry of my monthly giveaway of one of my paid patterns from my Etsy and Ravelry shop. So I'd love you to take advantage of this. I always announce the winner in the beginning of every month. So um, if you like to share your amigurumi, I'd love to see it and also applaud you and give you a big thumbs up. So with that being said, have a lovely day and happy crocheting. Bye.